welcome Scorpio to your September love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. If you are new here, we are going to use the AF Tarot deck, which is the round deck. Um, you can purchase these on Etsy, okay? And then we have the soul cards, tarot, and then the situations. Uh, at the end of the reading, I am going to use the love oracles to see what this person has to say to you. And then the romantic oracles at the end. And then I'll pull some cards along the way. So let's go ahead and get started with your uh, reading and see what is coming in for September. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Ten of Pentacles, what? That's beautiful. It's like, Ten of Pentacles is always good. That's abundance, that's long-term vision, success, that's wealth, right? Could be commitment. Um, it's just a lot of stability here. We do have the Three of Wands energy with the Nine of Rings. Okay. So with the three of wands energy, there could be some delays in development or opportunities. This feels like you guys are going after a lot of abundance here. A lot of you guys could be independent or working on something, but it's going straight to the sun. It's going straight to a lot of positivity. Um, yeah, eight of rings. Look at, you got eight, nine, and ten. Are you guys like money right now? <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want to hear about love. I want to hear about money. Um, yeah, it's like you're, you see the potential in something. And it's putting a lot of effort into it. There may be a little bit delays, but it's not going to stop from what's coming. Okay. A lot of abundance coming and you're, you're growing up on something here. Okay. Well, I don't do money readings. This is a love reading, but money wanted to come out for you guys. So that's a good thing. Loving that. Um, okay, let's see what else we can get for you. Okay, 10 of wands energy, seven of cups. A lot of you guys could be um, dealing with other options here, are releasing things that no longer serve you. The challenge is new love, new opportunity in love. And the two of swords is not really making a decision, not really, really acknowledging love. A lot of options, but like maybe someone, there's not like anyone really filling your cup here or feel worth setting time aside for, because you're like on a hustle. Here, or you're doing something here. I mean, it is Virgo season, so. Huh, interesting. Okay, Six of Swords. I love this, actually. Six of Swords. Someone is, someone I feel is being a bit patient with you. Uh, feeling a little disappointed, honestly. There is a love situation. There is an option. And this, whoever this may be, they're feeling like you're kind of like, rejecting them in a way like they're trying not to take things personal but with the five of cups they're feeling kind of sad and disappointed yeah because nothing's moving it's like a new opportunity is on the table but you could be focused again on other things right now king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy a lot of you guys could be focusing i'm sorry i don't mean to keep repeating myself but yeah things could be a bit stagnant here we have you manifesting and then we have the world all right so things could be a bit stuck and i feel with the magician this is more of a creative energy this is more of manifesting something here okay the world is here too with the sun in reverse King of Wands energy. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. You guys could have got out of something with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that wasn't really divinely guided, right? It didn't, like this person was resisting the universe. They probably got caught cheating, lying, or something here. And I feel like kind of put a love on, like your love on hold for a bit. 
as you're closing out something with the world that brought in a lot of happiness at one point it feels like it was like temporary happiness with this fire sign for some it doesn't have to be a fire sign it could be any any sign but it was very like hot chemistry like and now you're closing out this chapter because this person ended up being deceitful and now you're manifesting other things right but when it comes to love or situations it's like possibly the last thing on your mind because you're kind of getting you're, you're closing a cycle here and i don't i don't feel like this person's going anywhere to be honest i just feel like they're kind of disappointed that things are not really moving this could be somebody that's going to come in your life especially if you're dating or you're talking to somebody and they are going to feel that stagnant energy from you because you're busy kind of well you are you're focused on your independence. You don't need anybody. Okay. So it's like somebody has to like stand out a bit for you to grab that opportunity. Thanks, Scorpio. You're breaking hearts over here. Making people wait. <laughs> um, Let's see the situation shifts. I don't, I, yeah, there's, I mean, when you come out of one thing, you know, and then you go back out there, it's like things th things could be a little unsatisfying or, yeah. So we have crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. TikTok, deadline, running out of time. All right, let me grab some more. Projected future days and weeks. There's an offer coming on the table. Hmm. Silence, non-action. Okay. There is somebody here that is feeling lonely. Okay. They are feeling the pressure of possibly something ending, that they're needing to make a move. Okay. This could be an upcoming days, weeks, or months to where somebody wants to offer you um, something here. Yeah. We have trash. Is the offer trash or <laughs> because it doesn't seem I, I think Scorpio you're gonna do what you're gonna do I mean you know what's a priority in your life you know what you've gone through I mean if somebody wants to offer you something it's your it's an opportunity that you can take or not right so I don't, I, I feel like with the, what you don't see coming is just something going stagnant um, with an energy and it could like be because you're focusing on other things. Okay. Uh, you're coming up really dependent and whole within yourself. So uh, let's get more cards. Yeah, somebody could be feeling closed in, trapped, and, posit and, and frustrated because there's a pause. Yeah. Hmm. There, see, something's closing out here, and we have resisting change with the will. So something is being blocked. Okay. And it's for you to manifest your abundance. That's beautiful. So... The universe is blocking out what isn't meant for you so you can manifest what is. Huh. Love that. Love that. Love that. That's so gorgeous. I, I love that um, energy for you. All right. Let's see what this person has to say. I don't know if this is the past person or what. Sorry. You are the person of my dreams. I feel like I ruined everything. Huh. Oh, I feel you. Okay. And I'm afraid of commitment. This is the end. I was pretending to be someone else. Okay. Please forgive me. So someone could be feeling like something is ending. This could be that fire sign for some that you're closing out the chapter with. Okay. Okay. Because there is options here. It's like you're dealing more than with more than one person, more than one opportunity, one more than one emotional offer. There's something here, like maybe in your inbox, I don't know, 
profile and your messages. There's just like, there's, there's options. And I feel as like you're releasing some options. You're not really focusing on some and some are focused on you a lot. And then we have that sign here the king of wands energy wanting to come through sorry everyone i got interrupted um let's go ahead and pull some cards for you to see how you're holding up here oh we have freedom so yeah it does look like you're more freeing yourself from an energy or a situation or your mind really take what resonates with that you're freeing yourself from something and this could be connecting okay so more connecting with spirit um connecting with others here as you set boundaries i feel like this card is coming out a lot for a lot of the readings okay boundaries some of you guys could be like block this person um but your eyes are wide open here let's see if there's anything new coming in Ooh, this could be the one you're already met the romantic partner you, you seek Okay, nice. Let's see what else we have and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask or self mask in this relationship. So yes. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, lovers of um, romantic oracles to end the reading for you. Again, sorry about the, the interruption. So we do have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, um, it will automatically transform. And then we have sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And then we have this beautiful card, which is called Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. All right, Scorpio, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.